Throughout Black History Month, we're gonna be celebrating some of the trailblazers in sports, including hockey. Between Willie O'Ree and P.K. Subban, there've been a lot of firsts for black hockey players. And we're gonna look at nine of them in 90 seconds. Start the clock. Okay, this list has to begin with Willie O'Ree, who broke the NHL color barrier in 1958. He only played 45 games, but his impact just can't be understated. He's a Hall of Famer and now the NHL's diversity ambassador. Herb Carnegie never played a game in the NHL, but was known as hockey's first true superstar, putting up crazy numbers in the Quebec Provincial Hockey League. Grant Fuhr, he had three firsts on his resume. First goaltender, first to have his name on the Stanley Cup, and first to be inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Dirk Graham had a couple firsts, one before and one after retirement. He was the first captain when he wore a C for Chicago back in 1989 and later became the first head coach for that same Blackhawks team. Angela James was known as the Wayne Gretzky of women's hockey. She won four world titles and was the first black woman to captain Team Canada. Tony McKegney, the first player to really make a scoring impact in the league. He scored 40 goals, he was the first to do that, and his 78 points was the highest total. That is until this guy. Before Jerome McGinley, no black player had ever led the NHL in scoring. He won the Art Ross Trophy back in 2002 and was also the first black hockey player to win an Olympic gold medal. In 1990, Jay Sharers became the first black official in league history. 11 years later, more history as the league's first black referee. And P.K. Subban, he may be one of the most popular players in the game, but he's also a history maker as the first black player to win the Norris Trophy.